Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm a type 1 diabetic. If you have questions about your own diabetes care, please contact your physician. Hi friends, I'm back. I have some exciting, exciting news. Um, I hope all of y'all summer has been going good. It's been super busy around here with my two boys, but I have something to share with you guys. This is a little impromptu video. I don't have anything right now. Um, I, as most of you know, I use an Animus pump, which is part of the Johnson Johnson Corporation, and they've gone out of business and referred most of their customers to Medtronic, um, which has, that company Medtronic has agreed to, at no cost, give any Animus customer who is in warranty, which would be me, a free 630G pump. Um, so since I don't feel like paying for another pump, I went ahead and got that started and look what came in the mail. So I'm going to do a little quick unboxing, um, kind of show the pump side by side along with, um, the cartridges and infusion systems. Um, I also have the Guardian Link transmitter which I was so graciously gifted by a fellow uh, T1D warrior so let's get started let me take off my animus vibe um, the whole reason why I switched from the ping to the vibe was because of the integrated CGM system um, so three months after using the CGM that goes with my animus vibe which was the Dexcom my insurance was no longer covering CGM supplies, which is why I'm currently on the um, Libre Reader with the BlueCon, and I'm going to have another in-depth video of how I set up the BlueCon original transmitter with my Libre sensors. So, stay tuned for that. Now, I've put a battery inside of my 630G, so fancy. Um, I haven't loaded any cartridges. I have, um, since I'm in warranty, and this was given to me for free along with three months worth of supplies by Medtronic. Um, I'm waiting for the trainer to give me a phone call. And I do have lots of animus supplies to use up, so here they are, side by side. Their little home screens. They're pretty much the same size. I want to say Medtronic is maybe a little bit thicker. Um, and then of course this is vertical while this is horizontal. And then the clips are also different. I know Animus clips are always super shoddy. This one's lasted me for about a year which is remarkable. Um, Animus clips are made out of metal. This is very, very much plastic, and it's hinged, which is kind of weird, but I think I might, I think I might be digging it. Um, so here they are, side by side. Of course, the um, 630G will connect to the Guardian Link CGM system, so it will show my blood glucose right there on the screen if I do choose to continue using that system we shall see um, the way to get in this isn't as easy to navigate through I feel as the vibe is there's a lot of buttons to press um, there's a lot of menus to sift through before getting exactly to like the main menu or the bolus menu or like whatever it is that you're trying to get to. Um, I do feel like the main screen does show a little more in-depth information than the main screen home screen on the Vibe does. Um, Because your active insulin is right there on the home screen of the 630G where you would have to go to the status section on the Vibe to find out how much insulin you have in your body at that moment. Um, 
for some reason it's rewinding right now interesting so there's those uh once i do switch over i'll definitely do a um another video of how my insulin pump works just like i did for my vibe let's move on to the cartridges um this is where the biggest difference has been that i've noted here's an animus cartridge it comes with basically the syringe tube the plunger the capped needle and then kind of like a cap if you want to fill it with insulin but not put the needle on it comes with a little cap so you know that's what four pieces five if you include the cap on the needle and the Medtronic reservoir is just one piece already so I'm gonna open open this I'm not gonna open my animus one but here's the um, Medtronic Reservoir. My Animus Reservoirs are only 2 milliliters. And I shoot through that fairly fast since it's hot outside. Um, I need more insulin in the summertime. Um, I get dehydrated really easily and use up more insulin. My insulin sensitivity is a lot higher. This is a 3 milliliter. So I have to say I'm super excited about that. Not having to change my cartridges often. Um... There's, of course, you know, the insulin waste that occurs when you do a cartridge change. What's left in the tubing, there's usually 12 units left inside of the cartridge that you can't get out. Um, so I have gone from two vials of Humalogamma to three, uh, it being the summertime. But, you know, it's good to have that little extra just in case. Now, the biggest difference is the plunger doesn't have an extra piece like this whole thing goes into the pump which is kind of cool and then um there's no capped needle it you basically just like stick the vial upside down on top of there which is kind of neat because you won't have to hold on to the insulin vial and you know draw up insulin into the cartridge it just kind of hangs out there and then this comes off it twists off and then this is kind of sealed much like um an insulin vial would be like it's an airtight kind of seal right there which is cool so if you want to pre-fill cartridges if you're going on vacation or if you're going on a little day trip and you know you'll need a change you don't have to worry about your insulin leaking out of your cartridge it's kind of neat i really like that so on to the infusion sets um, here is, I have the Mio's in pink, apparently. I didn't ask for that, but that's what they gave me. Here is the Animus insets. They're very similar. They already have the tubing inside of there ready for me and connected. Um, and they're spring-loaded inserters. I know that Medtronic, unlike Animus, has way more options for insets and I'll be looking into all of the different kinds I can get um especially price wise if there's a price difference in between insets um but this was just what was similar to what I had and what I was used to it's got the round sticker just like the animus does the main difference would be um, the system used to connect the tubing to the cartridges. Animus has what's called a lure lock system. Um, it's just a little piece of plastic that twists onto the end of an open cartridge and then you prime all the bubbles out of that, that little piece right there. Whereas the Medtronics since their cartridges are basically sealed like a vial is, their system, I don't know what it, what, what it's even called, has a little needle in there to pierce the rubber top of the cartridge. But other than that, they're both super similar. They both work in similar ways. They both have the little blue protector over the needle inserter and so there's those. I'm super excited 
to get a video out of me using this for the first time. We'll learn together. Okay, so I wasn't given the transmitter portion of the mini med, um, but thankfully to social media and awesome people who also have diabetes, um, our T1D community, I was gifted this Guardian Link transmitter. Um, unlike the Dexcom, the Guardian Link transmitter can be recharged, which is amazing. Sort of like my Bluecon, um, it just gets a new battery every month or so. So here's the Guardian Link transmitter. And it's charger, which just takes one AAA battery. And you just slide that baby in there. I think I was told every 12 hours this needs to be recharged. Um, and then those use the in-light sensors, which are also not covered by my insurance. My insurance doesn't cover any CGM anything, which is why I opted for the Libre system, because out of pocket at the pharmacy. It's super cheap, but that's what I got for you guys, so great things to come. I think I have another, like, two to three weeks before I have to send the sucker back to Medtronic, um, or they want to charge me, like, two grand or something, so, uh, oh. One other thing that I'm super excited about, um, is that the 630G comes with, it's not charged, its own meter remote, um, a contour next, which I believe also links up to the Guardian Link system. Um, so, you know, input blood sugar, blood sugar calibrates the Guardian transmitter and sensor, all that info goes to my pump, it's going to be great. I haven't been in a loop system um, since, like, the beginning of 2017 and by loop system I mean where the meter the glucose meter that you prick your finger with talks to the transmitter that checks your blood sugar also that talks to the pump it's a looped system everything's communicating with everything else and the newest mini med um, Medtronic product is the 670G. I had the option to upgrade to that, um, but I was going to have to pay some money out of pocket for it, and with still paying off medical bills from having a premature baby, I just wasn't up for having to pay for that. The 670 um, has like an auto mode where you don't need a basal rate. It basically sees what your blood sugar is and then gives you insulin accordingly. It's the first thing on the market that's next to an actual um, pancreas, artificial pancreas. So I'm super excited to be um, a new member of this company. It's the longest existing insulin pump company. They've been around for over like 20 years. Um, I am very sad to see the familiar Animus pump leave. Um, it's been with me since I was pregnant with my firstborn, you know, who just turned eight. So I've had it for over eight years and the customer service has always been amazing. And, um, you know, trying new things is scary, but I have obviously a great, uh, T1D support system out there who's willing to walk me through everything I need to do. So, I just had to share my excitement with y'all and look for more videos uh, to come about my 630G and my um, Bluecon and Freestyle Libre system. Um, I plan on keeping that for a while. Uh, this is just kind of a tryout with the Guardian Link to see how I like it. And later, y'all. Have a great summer. Video, if you liked it, like and subscribe for more videos and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments I do get those notifications if you want some more information about the 
systems that I'm using currently. I'm going to have some informational links below. Until next time.